Now, we are moving on to the Economic Engine Award. Presenting this award is Tarina Parvello. <laughs> good to be here amongst many of our partners. The Economic Engine Award recognizes individuals, organizations, businesses, facilities, or programs which have created a significant economic outcome and or job creation for the West Valley. Critical factors of a nomination include the economic impact in portion to the size of nominee or to population of the nominee serves. The ingenuity of the nominee, the economic benefit created for the West Valley, any adversity faced by the nominee, and solutions employed to achieve success. Now direct your attention to the screens to learn more about two amazing economic engine finalists, City of Avondale and Health City of Avondale Health Tech Corridor and Microsoft. The corridor, uh, like I said, from 99th Avenue to Dicer, you're looking at 400 employers, 8,000 net new jobs. You're looking at anything from healthcare hospitals to IMS to ACOS. You've got restaurants, you've got shopping, you've got retail, you've got Legacy that is a assisted living facility. You've got Bioplasma that's building a new facility in Avondale. There's just a lot happening in that corridor. Phoenix Children's Hospital has one of their major satellites in the Southwest Valley out in Avondale and it's um, been a it's been there for about seven years and it's been a great addition for the children's care in the Southwest. In addition to that we also have other services we can provide physical therapy, occupational therapy, x-rays, ultrasounds, um, um, all sorts of um, the big one is infusion. We have a big infusion center too. And this, what it does is it allows families to have the care in these specialty divisions close to home. Avondale was very accommodating to us. We, we were in a hurry to get something going. We knew there was a timing issue mm -hmm. and um, the city was great. They allowed us to, with the help of Mayor Weiss, they helped <laughs> us to... Uh... I heard he's a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> They helped us to uh, to get all of our submissions into the city at one time, okay. which expedited the, the permitting process. We literally had permits from the initial submission to permits in hand in about seven to eight weeks, wow. which is unheard of in Arizona. Uh, Arizona Center for Cancer Care, we really have a unique model of care when it comes to cancer care. And we wanted to expand our recognized model into the West Valley. Mm -hmm. And we really felt that Avondale was the perfect place to do that. Um, we wanted to be able to serve even more people here in Arizona than we already were, mostly in the East Valley. Avondale's population becoming younger and younger, and we are finding that it's more the people in their 40s and 50s around here that also need cancer care. It's a multidisciplinary approach, so while we do definitely take care of the older population as they get into their uh, 70s and 80s, we also find that 40s and 50s were having diagnoses there as well. Okay. Have to be able to serve the community as a whole and be able to serve them where they need to be served, and Avondale is definitely a huge piece of that. I appreciate that. Thank you. We are proud to have Microsoft building two of their three West Valley Data Center campuses in Goodyear. This is a big win for the entire West Valley. Microsoft was looking for new locations um, to put our data centers. Specifically, we were looking in the Southwest region of the United States. We looked at multiple sites across several states, but El Mirage and Goodyear were very attractive to us because they knocked it out of the park in what we were looking for, including available land, great fiber, terrific infrastructure, available water, and talented workforce. The footprint of Microsoft in the West Valley is significant, with at least $1.25 billion in new data centers, two in Goodyear and one in El Mirage. In addition, Microsoft is investing heavily in solar and renewable energy to power these data centers. 
It is our intent with the campuses both in El Mirage and Goodyear that they be among the most sustainably designed and operated in the world, all backed with 100% renewable energy. To do this, we're creating a thousand new construction jobs and to build out the new facility. And based on experience that we've had in our other markets where we have data centers, these are ongoing sustainable jobs. And once they become online, there'll be a hundred permanent jobs across a variety of roles, including mechanical engineers, data center technicians, and electrical engineers. For the El Mirage Data Center in particular, it will generate $62 million in tax revenue, 470 direct and indirect jobs, 130 million personal income, and as well, 126.3 million indirect personal income. Microsoft's decision to locate here in Goodyear validates the story I've been telling for a long time. As the mayor of the city of El Mirage, we're so grateful for the partnership that we have created with Microsoft as well with the city of Goodyear. And we just are looking so forward to the future and what is to come for our residents, our community, and our state. Goodyear has plenty of available land, robust and growing power, and fiber infrastructure, and most importantly, a highly skilled and educated resident workforce. We look forward to the next stage in our relationships as construction on the first buildings are nearing completion and initial operations are set to begin. All right, let's find out who our winner is. The economic engine winner is Microsoft. Oh, I get a good feeling, yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no, I get a good feeling, yeah. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. much to Westmark uh, and, and the West Valley Cities for this amazing award and recognition. My name is Tamara Edgen and I manage Microsoft's education business here in the Southwest, specifically Arizona. I am honored to receive this, this prestigious award on behalf of the hardworking Microsoft Arizona team. Uh, it's an amazing team and we're very grateful to have everyone on it. Building data centers is a team sport, by the way, and we are grateful to have uh, found strong partners in the communities of Goodyear and El Mirage, and very thankful to Mayor Lord and Mayor Hermosillo uh, for their vision and inspiring leadership. Microsoft's mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. Data centers are an integral part of accomplishing that mission. The large buildings that everyone will see here in the West Valley will be full of cutting edge technology, enabling Microsoft to address the needs and serve over 1 billion people across our globe. Our data center, oh yes, thank you, 1 billion people, that's a lot. <laughs> Our data centers allow businesses to operate their technology, retailers to perform analytics on their, their customer base, teachers to instruct instruction during this pandemic online, as well as when we all go back to the classroom, they still use that technology every single day. And it also enables job seekers to find 
jobs on places like LinkedIn uh, to, to, to find that new role that they're going to be able to provide for their family. Microsoft is also passionate about being a very, very strong, responsible corporate citizen. Our, our leadership, our senior leadership, Brad Smith and Satya Nadella, are very passionate to ensure that we leave this planet better than we found it. Our data centers bring, are being built in El, El Mirage and Goodyear will be completely sustainable, designed and operated um, the best in the world. It will, they will no longer be using technology and using our energy, they will be giving it back. In partnership with First Solar, we will use 100% renewable energy upon opening. And by 2030, we will be water positive, which means we will give more water back to our community than what we use. Microsoft is excited to be in Arizona. We love giving back to our community. We love finding organizations that believe in the same things that we do and helping them be successful. Thank you to Mayor Lord and Mayor Hermosillo for, and their teams, by the way, you both have amazing teams, um, for being such amazing partners. And we look forward to seeing what's next. Have a good night. Sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. Congratulations again, Microsoft, for your investments in the West Valley.